And now it's time to introduce our next superstar act, Lover Boy, to Canada's Walk of Fame. And to help us with their induction, please welcome Much Music alumni and my good old pal, DJ Steve Anthony. All right, here's the cheap one. How are you all tonight? We're planning on making this thing go severely overtime. So you all got babysitters, etc., that are willing to kind of sleep over? Uh, thank you for being here. Something that hasn't been said is that when this was announced, Massey Hall sold out in 90 seconds flat. Which is an homage. And by the way, for those of you who are fans of bands and artists other than the ones that are being inducted tonight, there will be other years that will be doing that. So a big round of applause for all the future Rock of Fame winners, potentially. Now, I'm going to do this early. Everyone tonight is going to be talking about music and hit records. I want to talk about sweat. Specifically, lover boy sweat. <laughs> now, you don't become one of the longest lasting, hardest working bands in rock without sweating, sweating a lot. I think you can see where this is going. You don't swagger across a stage night after night, year after year, blasting crowds with groin thundering riffs, one roaring song after another without a little perspiration. That's why I understand Mike decided to wear the headband. And Mike, Mike Reno wearing that headband is one of the top three iconic headband wearing people in the world, along with Andre Agassi and Olivia Newton John. <laughs> top three iconic headbands of all time. Now, every night at the end of the show, you don't know this, this is one of those historical things, you don't know the secrets. That Mike Reno headband was soaked. It was soaked with genius, it was soaked with talent. It was soaked with resilience. And I was thinking, only if they could have put that in a bottle. We could all buy Loverboy's Miracle Tonic. But the truth is, there's no magic formula for greatness. Loverboy got here because they worked their leather asses off. They built their reputation, one fan, one club, one hit at a time. They learned how to craft a great song, command a stage, and you can't put that in a bottle. All you can do is bow down and pay tribute to an awesome band that for... 44 years has hosted the best party in rock. Don't take my word for it. Let's watch this video. I'd like to do a song from one of our favorite groups. It's called Working for the Weekend by Lover Boy. Everybody's working for, the for more than 40 years, Lover Boy has been delighting audiences worldwide with their trademark red leather pants, bandanas, big rock sound, and high energy live shows. Loverboy has sold more than 10 million albums, earning four multi-platinum plaques and a string of rock staples, including Working for the Weekend, Loving Every Minute of It, and Turn Me Loose, still heard on many classic rock and classic hits radio stations around the world. The multi juno Award winners and Canadian Music Hall of Famers were the first Canadian group to earn Columbia Records exclusive Crystal Globe Award celebrating the sale of over 5 million albums. Loverboy's reputation as an incredible live act has always been its calling card as the group continues entertaining fans of all ages. There you go. There you have it. By the way, I cleared all of the uh, sweat jokes with, uh, with Mike and Paul. Uh, now, taking command of the stage, it is Mike Reno and Paul Dean of Loverboy. Yeah. 